at the sitting of 22nd of May 2018, following my reply to parliamentary question B421. Honorable Le Poignier sought clarifications with regard to, one, exercising of quality control during implementation of projects, taking as an example the upgrading of Avenue de Water Lily, and two, the fact that two different amounts had appeared for the construction of a bus shelter at Albion in the list table in reply to PQB195 of 17th April 2018. I wish, therefore, to bring the following clar clarifications. I'm informed by the National Development Unit that it has put in place a system of quality control to ensure that works are carried out as per scope of works and specifications in the contract. For each project, works are supervised by qualified engineers throughout the execution of the work, and the quality of materials used is subject to various tests carried out at the material testing laboratory of the RDA. For the project upgrading of Avenue de Water Lily at Albion, the scope of works comprised the resurfacing of about 4,950 square meter of road with reshaping works when required. The asphalt work was carried out on 13th of January 2016. After completion of the project, payment to the contractor was effected after ensuring that all test reports confirm that the materials incorporated in the works conform to specifications. Also, the road was in good condition before handing over to the District Council of Black River for maintenance. With a view to ascertaining that the road at Avenue de Water Lily was in good state, a site visit was effected by officers of the NDU and the District Council of Black River on 27th of May 2018. These officers have reported that the road was in good condition, except that there were localized damages at a few locations. I am informed that these damages were the result of works carried out by the Central Water Authority and vehicular movement on the road infrastructure, which was undermined by the infiltration of stagnated water following the recent heavy rainfall. Madam Speaker, the District Council of Black River will soon undertake remedial action. With regards to the project for the construction of a bus shelter at Albion, I am informed that there is only one project that has been implemented by the District Council of Black River from funds made available by the NDU. The estimated cost of this project was 860,000 rupees inclusive of VAT and at completion the total amount paid to the contractor was 798,000 rupees 934 rupees and 90 cents including of VAT. Unfortunately due to an oversight this project appeared twice. One with figures of the estimated cost and the other with the exact amount paid on the list which was tabled in reply to PQB195. The officers of the NDU have been cautioned to be vigilant, di diligent while submitting information. I would like to stress that this project does not comprise only the construction of a bus shelter but the scope of works also included the construction of an absorption drain, construction of 162 square kilometer tarmac, supply and fixing of benches, excavation and other associated works. The bus shelter is made up of timber structure as well as zinc aluminum profile sheets. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker.